So I'm going to continue talking about all the different flaws I notice in the leftist communities, mostly because I think they really hinder our progress and they hinder us from actually creating communities. So I think we oftentimes ignore our own biases and we don't really learn much about logical fallacies because I see people not only making logical fallacies in the leftist circles all the time, I also notice how they sometimes actively deny um, having certain biases, for example, the great man hypothesis or pretty privilege or the halo effect, which I think I described once here on my channel. But you cannot deny that you are influenced by the way the presenter looks and by the way they speak and by the amount of authority that you uh, subscribe to them or that you associate with them. You just can't deny that because all of us humans nowadays, well, most of us humans nowadays, will be prone to these biases. Like, yes, we trust people in authority a little bit more, unless they're from the government. We never want to trust the government, right? But sometimes I observe certain <laughs> ideas um, talked about in the left that remind me of some things that I sometimes occasionally accidentally hear on the far right. Things like being against the LGBTQ plus communities, things being against female empowerment, and denouncing certain progress as being liberal, etc. So... <laughs> And don't get me wrong, I love to bash on neoliberalism and I love to denounce pink feminism as any of your neighborhood commie would. But I think that we need to very closely observe ourselves in order not to slip into some of these uh, biases and some of these logical fallacies because they are usually a slippery slope. Once you open that window of overtone, it's getting easier and easier to... Um, get inspired by some ideas that may be harmful. There's nothing bad about discovering ideas and thinking about possibilities and uh, analyzing certain things from different angle. But we have to bear in mind the possible associated risks. So if you are a person who has a lot of privilege, I think that it may be helpful to you to check yourself and of course, all of us should always do that. But with people from marginalized communities, we oftentimes don't have a choice. We have to be continuously vigilant. We have to keep our guard up or whatever the phrase is. I don't remember. But we are in this constant st state of skepticism and doubt. And oftentimes we are doubting ourselves way more than other people may. And that's obviously also due to childhood trauma and the likes. And for some people, neurodivergence or neurodevelopmental um, things may affect them as well. But we just have to bear in mind that being radical doesn't mean that we're against everything all the time and that our main purpose is to argue. I think once I mentioned on my channel how I'm kind of afraid of debate bros, and now I'm like, I'm not afraid of them anymore. I'm just like, they're wasting their youth and their energy on arguing with people on the internet instead of trying to actively organize themselves and organize together with people in their communities and build new communities that will promote the values that they subscribe to. So I don't know, it's just another rant. That's all you're going to get <laughs> because I'm so tired. I'm so burned out. But um, you can let me know what you think and we can certainly keep this conversation going.